So, you know that the Earth is round, right? But representing its three-dimensional surface on a flat map is like trying to peel an orange and flatten it out. Things get a little distorted. Meet the Mercator projection. While it's great for navigation, it does play a little trick on us. Greenland, for example, appears huge, but in reality, it's not that colossal. And then there's the Robinson projection, which is fantastic for showing continents in a more balanced way, but distorts the land masses. Now check out the Goods Homolosine projection. It's like someone took a pair of scissors to the map. But hey, at least it keeps land masses pretty accurate, even if they're a bit broken apart. See, the thing is, there's no perfect way to slap Earth onto a flat surface. Each projection sacrifices something, whether it's size, shape, or distance, 